Joining us via phone for CNBC exclusive interview is Edgewell Personal Care CEO Rod Little. Rod, thank you for phoning in. I mean, obviously you make a lot of other products besides just razors, but that seems to be one of the pain points. What is the deal? People just not shaving at home? Yeah, hi, Sarah. Great to be with you today. Uh, there is some uh, headwind around shaving right now in the work-from-home environment as, as people are a little more relaxed and a little less formal. You're seeing less shave incidents happening. Um, so that is the case, and, and we did have a headwind there. Again, we've, we expect that um, to abate as, as things open back up, people become more social. That's the beginning of the category re returning to normal. And ultimately, before the, the pandemic hit, we had gone back to flat to, to slightly positive in, in shaving, which, which is good. The other portion, though, uh, of our category story here is sun care. Um, we have Banana Boat, Hawaiian Tropic brands that we compete with, and the sun care category was down almost 20 percent um, in the current quarter, and that's a big driver for us as well. We've had good performance with our sun care brands, up nearly 400 basis points, but you can't overcome a category that's down 20 percent. Rod, we have a, a lower third at the moment that says stubble trouble, and, and I wondered how permanent that stubble trouble could be for you. In so many other business lines, we talk about permanent shifts, uh, whether it's in, in how people spend their money and into the cloud and all that kind of stuff. Do you, do you think people yeah, will come well, back Fred, to shaving we, um, as, as keenly as they know, used we, to? We see, yeah, sorry, Wilfred, to cut out there, but we see the, the headwind there. And it's part of the, the shift we've made um, with the Cremo acquisition that we announced today to participate in a bigger way in the men's grooming segment, so the non-blades and razors portion, which is growing nicely in double digits. We participate in that part of the, the category today with our Bulldog brand in a value price point, our Jack Black brand, which is at a prestige premium price point, and Crimo fits neatly in between the two of them at what we call a mastige price point, so splitting mass and prestige offerings. And it's the leading brand, as, as rated by Nielsen, across men's grooming. And so we're super excited to have that brand join the portfolio. It's fast-growing. It's profitable. It's accretive to our margins. So there's a lot we like about the acquisition. And apparently less uh, anti-competitive than Harry's, which didn't work out for $1.4 billion last year, Rod. Um, just on the skin care, on the sun care products that you mentioned, why did you see such a big drop there from, from sunscreen. People are supposed to be spending more time outside. Yeah, they, they are, Sarah, and we're seeing that now. But if you go back to the start of the quarter, uh, back in that ending March into April, May, it was the peak of the lockdown of people staying at home. And in that, we saw the category down up to 60 percent versus the prior year, 6-0 in some weeks. Um, there was a week spring break um, sunscreen um, category outcome. It was also weak at Easter. It was weak at Memorial Day. As we got into June and people started to get outside more and understand they, how to be safe outside, we've actually seen our sales increase. And in some of the recent weeks, the category has increased. So sequentially, as we've gone through the year, um, we've seen it improve. So we're confident about the category going forward, but we're just not able to make up what we lost early in the season. Do, do you miss out as well because salons uh, are not seeing heavy footfall, or do you benefit more from people grooming at home? It, it, it actually, we benefit, we think, more from people grooming at home, and the grooming category actually grew uh, despite, you know, what was happening in in the last quarter. And so there's nice growth in the grooming category. and We're not seeing a drop off in that at all. What we are seeing is a shift uh, to more e-commerce um, consumption. And, you know, our share on Amazon was up 300 basis points in this quarter. So we're doing very well there. But the acceleration towards e-commerce direct to consumer um, has gone a couple of years forward versus where we would have been without COVID-19. I know the wet ones business has been very strong for you as well with those wipes. Rod, we're out of time, but thank you for joining us. Appreciate the time. Yeah. Off earnings. Sure. Wilfred, thank you.